Hello, I'm Divet, and today I present you a video about the new revision of the TNV custom firmware, which is now version 9.6. Um, as you can see, TN removed the in XMB USB feature, FTP feature, not USB, so this is back to the not working USB thingy. It was removed due to B being buggy and due to it having well, due to it being the reason that the Internet Radio feature was not working in version 8. So the FTP is removed from the XMB, but they are currently working to reinsert it, but to be fixed. So it might be back in version 10. As you can see, 6.60 TNV version 9.6. And the biggest feature of this version is basically you can now use sound in PlayStation 1 games. I will start my favorite PS1 game, Grandia, and it should have sound, even though I started it from the XMB, instead of from the Vita home screen. The game now has sound. Um, it was worth to mention that the sound is not perfect. As you can see, it's already looping. But this depends from game to game and how you configure the settings in the recovery menu. I will show you this in a few minutes. At first, I will show you that in game the sound is working without problems. And, like I said, it just depends from game to game, and like in the main menu, it sometimes can be buggy. But it does not have to be. As you can hear, the sound is working without problems. No, it's not looping, it's not stuttering. And... It's working without problems, I would say. The stats of my characters are obviously not cheated. <laughs> CW cheat is also working for PS1 games. Quit game. Okay, now inside of the recovery menu we can see that there is a new function which is called PayOps SPU configuration. At first you can enable and disable this. So if a game is not working with sound you can just disable this function you can play the game without sound. Then you can change the volume to loud, very loud, low, medium and so on. The reverb interpolation, X enable XA playback, pitch, SPU, IRQ, IRQ, update module, bah. update mode and threat priority, there we go. Um, if you don't know what these things are, um, don't change them. Otherwise, take a look at the thread at volola.net in which you can see which games should have which configuration so they are working. There is a big thread which shows you which game needs which setting to be at what so it will work with the least problems. And otherwise, there's no function which can enable you to show the PS Vita firmware inside of the XMB. And I think everything else in here was currently still there. And you can change the recovery menu color from red to green to purple to yellow to cyan, blue, and so on. I prefer a green because it reminds me of the me and LME custom firmware. Everything else should be the same in the recovery menu. And TNV version 9.6 should be should be able to do the same as version 8, like I said, except for the in, in XMB FTP, this is not available. As you can see, it now also shows the farmer of the PS Vita, this one is currently running the farmer 3.01, and I'm using the arcade pool and snooker game to start this one, because it's a bit faster than King of Pool or Mega Mix, and I was too lazy to buy Numblast. Okay, another game I want to show you is run across it should be working and the last two games I want to show you are Tank 3 and Diablo 1. 
I'm not sure if those will work. I just hope they will work. As you can see, the beginning is currently with sound. And now let's see if the game itself also has sound. If a game has no sound or if a game crashes, you can change the settings inside of the recovery menu and then it might work. Like I said, go to the big PS1 compatibility thread at volala.net and check for your game and if you can find your game in that thread, use the configuration that people found to be working the best. I will put the link down in the, in the description of the video. This game also has sound. I'm not sure if this is a normal sound or not, since it sounded a bit weird and a bit very high pitched, but it had sound. The last two I want to show you is Tekken 3, which well shows the Tekken 3 artwork. Chrono Cross was a bit lazy made and Diablo has no icon itself. So yeah, I'm not sure if Diablo is working. I've tried it once at the Vita and it was working, but I'm not sure if, I, if I'm using the same settings as before. So if this one's not working, just change the settings. Okay, there's the red flash again. I think it is not working. This is a bit weird. It used to, to work before. Quit game. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's TNV version 9.6 running at the Farmer 3.01 and any older Farmer. If you're currently running Farmer 3.10, 12, 15 or a future one, this won't work. You have to use 3.01 or before. This is TNV version 9.6. I'm the Dad and see you soon.